Kate's hiding in bed. Where are we, Kate? In the best place in Saigon. Woo! Last day in Vietnam. And we're finally going out, not really in style, but we're definitely going to leave Saigon not sick this time, which would be a first. It would be a first. We, we sure loves us some sickness when we come oh, to Saigon. Oh, apparently, man. We just, like, open up our arms and go, Sickness, where are you? That's right. Come find me. Dysentery, dengue fever, doesn't matter. Sinus colds. We, we take it all. Got all our bags, our bicycles. Everything's packed up and ready to go. Well, for the most part, we got a few things out. Just for the time that we're here at the hotel. It's a really nice place. We've got the window. Got the view of the pool and everything. Not bad. So, finally get a nice, a nice, relaxing, relaxing weekend. weekend. Before a very, very full and early day of traveling. Yeah, tomorrow we're waking up. Actually, we're not waking we're not up. Waking up. That's right. Because we're not going to sleep. Yet. We're not going to bed. We're gonna take a nap uh, pretty soon. It's the afternoon still, so hopefully we can stay up early, early in the morning for seven. It's five forty-five. Five forty-five flight. Something like that. Before we're six. Stop in Tokyo. That's right. Back to. Our favorite airport! Yeah. Narita! Narita Airport. Which we lost the video for. There was a really cool video that I made. And Man, it was the coolest yet. I know. Had singing, had dancing, had really weird Japanese people doing this bobbin thing. Uh -huh. We had food, us, us eating. Yep. How many meals? <laughs> we ate probably a dozen <laughs> meals at that airport. <laughs> that airport? Ah, room service. Don't get that too often, do we? Oh, hello again. Thank you very much. It looks so delicious. Delicious. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. It's good we not air conditioned now. Mm, we're happy, okay. The way it is. Yeah. Sign in the page. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the music. Thank All you. right. <coughs> We have to say thank you very much to John Ensline for being kind enough to offer us the ability to stay in this hotel. Thank you, Daddy. And, uh... So they came after, uh, Winston. I have never stayed in a hotel this nice in my life, and it's seriously the best thing in my life so far. So I want to say thank you, John. It's wonderful. We really need it. Especially after someone got dengue. <laughs> yep, I did and that. Got from this skinny to this skinny. Uh huh. Totally did that one on purpose, didn't I? Yeah, I know he totally planned it. He made it to this really, really, really stressful time in my job where I was like thinking about leaving and like trying to prepare for leaving, but really couldn't do a whole lot yet because it was like it's too early and. Dr. Jason Stanley hasn't found a new replacement yet, and oh, maybe he will, and... But then other people are telling me he's never gonna find a replacement. No one wants to live in Pontiac. Oh my god, it was just a complete nightmare. And in the middle of it all, Winston goes and gets dengue. Freaks me out. I have to go to work four days a week still for like ten straight hours. Oh my gosh. Four tens. That's the way to live. Yeah, only getting paid for twenty hours though. But, yeah. anyway. It was stressful, and I was really, really worried about Winston. Especially when he started to hallucinate. That was pretty freaky. 
I made sounds like that, didn't I? Mm, not really. <laughs> More like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I was a, I was a ghost. Ghost zombie, yeah. Nice. Definitely a ghost zombie. Well then, it's a good thing yeah. we're getting the hell out of here, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's good that we're leaving relaxed so we can prep for Korea. Yes. And not get sick <laughs> before we go back home with anything. Yes. And uh, finally just be happy with where we are in our lives. That's right. So there may be one more hello, goodbye from the airport. I can't guarantee that. But this is signing off from Vietnam. It's been an adventure. And I'm not going to miss you. I'm sorry, Vietnam. I know you love me. But that love, it's not real love. It's the love of a child who hasn't yet seen the rest of the world. It's naive and innocent. So Vietnam, you grow up a little bit, and then maybe someday we can be together. <laughs>